Malls, schools, restaurants, and bars will be closed for at least three weeks beginning this Friday at 2 p.m. That's when Israel will enter a second nationwide lockdown in an effort to curb the rise of the COVID-19 infection rate. Those aren't the only restrictions, though. Israelis won't be allowed to go more than 500 meters from their homes unless they need essentials like food or medicine, or, of course, if they're counted as essential workers. Less than 10 people are allowed to gather indoors and up to 20 outdoors. Nightlife and shopping venues will be closed. Airports will be open, but if you plan to fly, make sure to check that your flight hasn't been canceled. These regulations will be in place from the beginning of the Jewish New Year of Rosh Hashanah for three weeks, but always subject for extension. Unfortunately, that also means that everyone will have to stay home for the holidays this year. <laughs> Members of the opposition, including MK and Naftali Bennett, are slamming the lockdown, calling it a blow to small businesses. And the finance ministry is projecting this new lockdown could result in the loss to, uh, to the economy of more than 6 billion shekels. Netanyahu says the latest lockdown is the only way to reduce the country's rising mortality rate, as Israel's death toll hits 1,126 and 3,182 cases recorded since Sunday. According to Israel's health ministry, once the daily infection rate dips below 1,000 cases, we may be able to ease the latest restrictions.